In a recent article in Vanity Fair, they call you the most famous woman in the world. Do you feel that famous? Sometimes. And sometimes I feel completely ordinary. The downside is that whenever I do anything, all the critics sharpen their knives. <laughs> well, the upside is, um, well, I get... I get to meet lots of interesting people. I come in contact with a lot of interesting people. My life has been an incredible adventure. Mm. Um, I've been really lucky. Is you Madonna? You my driver? Is you Madonna? Your Babylons look less big than they do on the telly, but I still definitely would. You wish. I would say it takes where I, what I started off with electronic music in my last record and takes it another step further. Oh, they're great visionaries. Both of them incredibly talented. I always find directors to work to collaborate with that I think have a really unique style or interesting sensibility um, that I think that between the two of us we're going to be able to come up with something very unique. Do you think, I mean, when you write a song, do you have the visuals for the video in your head also or does it come out? A lot of times I do, yeah. Yeah, I write in a very cinematic way. That's definitely something I'm seriously thinking about. I haven't done it in a while, but I'd like to. And do you think Europe will be on the playlist also? Absolutely. And that's some, sometime next year then, or? Yeah. <laughs> I miss you so much. I'm pregnant with your baby. There are certain similarities to our friendship the way that the playfulness of our character, the, um, we cry on each other's shoulders, we tell each other our secrets, um, we have fun together, but we both were playing much more ordinary characters than, than what I think we are in real life. Um, but there's, the, the, you know, the core of our relationship, our friendship is very similar. You're the only woman in the world that I would like to be. Oh. And what about movies? I mean, uh, will we have to wait another four years for you? I hope not. I hope not. What are your plans? I don't have any. None at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> the most important thing in my life now, not my career. So that's the biggest change. You certainly go to more children's movies. <laughs> Um, you just, be, you know, you become much more aware of the the power of of the media and the power of words and the power of actions for yourself personally and in everything that you absorb in culture. You become more aware of everything. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. I bought a house here. And I spend a lot of time here, but I'm an American, and uh, <laughs> I, if I'm here for too long, I always miss America. So I guess I'll just be... I'll be uh, um, living in several countries at once. <laughs>